Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to Iron Mind Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to set up and install the Ballberry wallet. So this wallet is pretty straightforward. However, there's one or two um, extras that might help you get started with the actual wallet, a little bit of the uh, configuration that might help you get up and running with it. So I'll take you through the whole process and um, get you on board with this. So I'll just minimize this for the time being. So if you open up our web browser, if you go to the official Ballberry website, which is ballberry.com, I'll put a link in the description for everything that you need. Then if we go to downloads, and the one that I downloaded was the actual zip file here. So you click on and download that. Obviously that will go to your downloads folder. So I'll open that now. So here's a file that we would have just downloaded. Um, obviously I've done it ahead of time. And we just right click and we would extract that and that will give us this folder here. So in this folder, there's a few different things. There is a uh, Ballberry daemon, there is a miner, a wallet, and also the Ballberry uh, QT, which is the program that I just showed you. So with this Ballberry uh, QT wallet, uh, there's kind of one extra thing that you need to do, um, which will help you get um, up and running, and that's called adding seed nodes. So these seed nodes are extra connections along the network, and by default, the uh, the wallet has some seed nodes built into it, but due to network uh, problems, you might find it takes a long time to get synchronized or get these connections. Um, so there's one extra thing that you can do that will help add some new connection to the wallet and um, help get you up and running a little bit faster. So what you do is you would right click on the actual QT, this bull b.exe, right click. And then what you want to do is create a shortcut. Select that and that will create a shortcut just like this one. Then what you want to do is right click on the shortcut and go to properties. And then where you've got this target here, to the left of that in your one, you'll basically see the storage address. So it'll be downloads, the actual folder, and then you've got this qt-bulb.exe. Then what you want is a space, and then we want all this extra code here. So it's just basically telling the actual program to open up with all of these extra seed nodes. And uh, what I'll do is I'll actually put this extra code in the actual video description, just so you can copy and paste it and add it. Once you've uh, added it in there, you just click um, apply on okay, and then you're ready to go. Then to open up the actual wallet itself, you just double click on the shortcut and that'll run the actual program with the extra uh, configuration. You can just leave the other EXE as it is for the time being. So when it first starts up, it'll start up like this. Uh, it did take quite a while for me to get synchronized even with the extra seeds. So for a long time I had zero connections, um, but I actually left it running overnight. I don't know how long exactly it took to synchronize, um, but it had been running for, for 10 hours to get synchronized. So at the moment we're currently on block uh, 708439 and you can just double check that you are um, synchronized if you go to chain radar slash bb slash blocks it will tell you the current let me just refresh this it will tell you the current block height and they should be um, the same so the actual wallet is kind of one it reads one block ahead um, done that in the previous block as well but that is actually um, synchronized so it's close the uh, nexus wallet there okay so the actual wallet is up and running and synchronized and from this point we can actually create our wallet and our actual addresses. So I'm going to go through that process now. This is actually the first time for me so hopefully we don't run into um, too much difficulty. So we've got kind of three options at the top, connectivity, wallet and exchange. Um, I've already tried the exchange but it doesn't appear to be uh, working. So if we go to wallet and then we've got open wallet or generate a new wallet. So in this case, we want to generate a new wallet. And it's gonna ask us for a file name for the actual document itself. So we've got Lee underscore wallet dot BB. I'm just gonna leave that exactly as it is. Um, I guess you could change it to what, you know, whatever you like really, um, so long as you keep the actual file extension. But uh, for simplicity, I'll just leave that as it is. And then we'll click save. Now I need to enter password, so I'll do that. And click OK. 
Okay, so now I can see an actual path to the actual wallet itself. I can also see a very long uh, address, which is this one here. And also it says synchronizing wallet, but really we should have been kind of synchronized um, anyway, which is a little bit odd. Um, however, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is let me just open up the notepad so I can save those uh, seed notes and I'll paste those in the video description and then I'm just going to copy this address oh okay so the actual uh, wallet is kind of synchronized up now I guess it just takes a little while to refresh uh, with the actual uh, ballberry uh, daemon which obviously is running in the background so we now have our wallet address uh, here so we've got to um, option to send the payment I don't have any, actually any funds at the moment you can see the funds at the top and um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back to the uh, pool so the pool that I was mining on was the supernova pool and um, I had mine on there the GTX 970 and also the four R7 370s uh, for a combined hash rate of about 3200 um, kilo hashes and they was running probably for around about 10 hours um, I now have uh, around uh, six bullberry in my account um, so what I'm actually going to do is going to paste my ballberry address in here. Uh, I'll leave the donations at zero. And then we've got the automatic payment threshold. I'll just press that to one. Even though I've got six in the account, um, basically the next time a payment is um, done, it, it would include that. We'll actually send out. Uh, and then I'm just going to enter my pin here. And I'm going to update this. Okay, so that's the actual uh, pool configuration done. Just obviously added my payment details here. So I'm not too sure how long it will take to actually update, but soon enough we should be able to receive some funds within our account itself. And uh, we can proceed on from there. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you've up and running and got started with the Bullberry wallet. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, as always, you can leave those in the comments area below. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you did like it and if you're not a subscriber already uh, please consider subscribing i do upload videos like this on a regular basis and it will help you get the best out of your crypto mining activities till next time guys see you on the next video